After years of little to no information, Shin Megami Tensei is alive and well, with the reason amazing new trailer for 5 and the shocking announcement of Nocturne being poured to current consoles. With these two games coming to Switch, a whole new generation of SMT fans are inevitable. I've seen a lot of you on Twitter and YouTube that never touched the series very interested in trying Nocturne 5. But these two games are a little far off, and there's plenty of Shin Megami Tensei games to get your hands on in the meanwhile while we all wait. The SMT series goes back very far, almost 30 years in fact, and with that comes a lot of games. Today I want to give my personal suggestions to newcomers on where to first begin. While Nocturne and SMT5 are a part of what's considered the main line of SMT games, there's plenty of spin-offs with similar themes and gameplay. And in this video, I'll be covering games from both the main series and spin-offs. Essentially, if it isn't Persona, it's fair game. This series is known for challenging difficulty, extremely dark themes, moral ambiguity, and unforgettable experiences. These games I've chosen encompass all these amazingly. Now then! Where is this legendary demon? Perhaps it's wasted away, lo, these many years. For humans to have the gall to step into the Hall of the Minotaur. What in blazes? Everyone, look! Over a thousand and five hundred years have passed since I formed a pact with my master. You are either truly skilled or fools indeed to ignore his warning. I will dine on your blood that wishes to mingle with the unclean. The first game I usually suggest newcomers try is Shin Megami Tensei 4 for the 3DS. At the time of its release, it was the most forgiving game in the series and was made to ease newcomers in. You are a samurai for the kingdom of Mikado and are tasked with using demons to combat other demons and keep the kingdom safe. Things aren't as they appear, however, and the story goes many dark places you'll never see coming. SMT4 may be easy by the standards of the rest of the series, but for a first time player, you'll find plenty of challenge here. In addition to an engrossing plot and challenging gameplay, the presentation in SMT4 is top notch. A good chunk of the game is voice acted, quite well in fact, and both humans and demons alike are beautifully drawn. Top all this off with some of the best music the series has seen, you have what I feel is a perfect starting point for someone that's looking for an authentic SMT experience. There's a lot of strange stuff going on. Let's do whatever we can to find a way out of this lockdown. Ah! Don't come any closer! Help! Atsuru! Yuzu! Oh, damn it! We're coming! That demon killed someone! We have to run! Now! You've got to get them before they get you! You have to fight! But let's say you want to start with something a little different. Are you a fan of strategy RPGs like Fire Emblem or Final Fantasy Tactics? Well then maybe the best place to start for you would be Devil Survivor Overclocked for the 3DS. Overclocked is actually an enhanced port of the original Devil Survivor for the DS, with new features including the entire game being voice acted. The main character and his friends are enjoying their summer vacation when Tokyo is suddenly put under lockdown and quarantine as demons start appearing in the city. They have about 7 days to escape the lockdown and you'll have to fight the humans and demons alike as the city quickly devolves into madness around you. There's tons of routes and various outcomes in Devil Survivor, so replayability is high, and in my personal opinion, this game is up there for best story the series has ever seen. Whereas most SMT games are classic turn-based RPGs, this one is like I said, a strategy RPG akin to Fire Emblem. You make your team out of demons you buy and fuse, and move around on a grid. It's pretty challenging, but with the right strategy, you'll be fine. This game is still one of my personal favorite RPGs in general, and if you have even the slightest interest after this section, I suggest giving it a try immediately. Rend, slaughter, devour your enemies. There is no other way to survive. You cannot escape your hunger. Warriors of Purgatory. The final game I'll suggest today is Digital Devil Saga for the PS2. I tried to stick to more modern and easily accessible games for this list, but I couldn't leave Digital Devil Saga off in good conscience. It's my personal favorite of the numerous PS2 SMT RPGs, even over the cult classic Nocturne. You're in control of a tribal warrior is called the Embryon, who are in constant war with other tribes in a dystopian battle arena known as the Junkyard, all striving to conquer the others and reach a fabled nirvana. During a battle, the tribes are infected with a virus of sorts that turn many of them into carnivorous demons. The catch is that those that return to demons need to feast on other humans to keep their sanity. Throughout the journey, you'll see various characters, both friendly and hostile, deal with this new force cannibalism, all while still trying to reach nirvana. Cannibalism plays a big part not only in the story, but the gameplay as well. 
as you have to ingest enemies to further augment your character's skills. It's a classic turn-based RPG with enough twists to make it truly stand on its own, even today. What I think I like about Digital Devil Saga so much is that probably more than any other SMT game is all about the characters. The members of the Embryon that you meet in the beginning of the game are not the same people you know by the end. Out of all the SMT games I've played over the years, these three, in my opinion, not only the best to ease a newcomer into the series, but also the best to make you want more. But there really is no wrong place to start your SMT journey. Even if the games I listed here interest you, I highly suggest you also do your own research to see what games pique your personal interests and give them a try. And if any other SMT veterans have recommendations for newcomers, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy Demon Slaying. A big thank you to this month's patrons, Buttermilk Mike, Nightmare Alpha, Roland Glenn, and West Hunt HD. Your support is always appreciated. Thank you guys so much. And if you want to become a patron, check out my Patreon link in the description below. Thank you guys. Later.